the merchant, the most mysterious character in Resident Evil. Who is he and where did he come from? The answer might be right under our noses. Welcome gamers to my channel, Lethal One, the channel that puts the R-E in Warrior Boy. Dressed in a trench coat and completely covered, who is this man who has a crap ton of weapons for sale? This may not be the stranger he wants the player to believe he is. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Over here, stranger. Stranger, stranger. Now that's a weapon. I do have a theory. In Resident Evil 2, Leon met Robert Kendall, owner of Gun Shop Kendall. It is mentioned that Robert makes custom weapons specifically for STARS members. But what does this have to do with the merchant, you say? Well, it is true that Robert is the creator of the custom weapons, but he wasn't alone. There was another man who helped him behind the scenes. Okay, hear me out on this one. The merchant sells Leon weapons. He also upgrades his guns. Now, would you agree that it would take a man who has the skill to build custom guns to have the ability to be able to upgrade guns? Now, to me personally, I feel like they go hand in hand. But you see, Robert wasn't the sole owner of Gun Shop Kendall. Robert had a brother. His name is Joseph. That's right. The merchant is none other than Joseph Kendall. The blue medallions that Leon shoots down are part of a game the merchant set up so Leon can win prizes. Now in Resident Evil 3, it is stated that Joseph is very good friends with the man, the legend, Barry Burton. Like Chris and Forrest, Barry and Joseph would have competitions to see who had the better skills with a gun, which happens to take place on Joseph's very own shooting range. Now it is also stated that he's a licensed weapon instructor, a skill someone must have in order to run a shooting range. So why is he in Spain helping Leon? Leon was one of the last survivors in Raccoon City that seen Robert alive. Joseph would have found out what happened to his brother when asking the other survivors, and Leon breaking the news to everyone what happened to Robert could have sparked a fire in Joseph to help the BSAA or other teams against BOW companies, and Joseph probably knew that Umbrella was to blame for the Raccoon City incident and knew Leon would go against the company, so he felt obligated to help him. As a matter of fact, if you zoom into Leon's gun, it does read Kindle Custom Shop, which we know Robert could not have made this gun. He was already dead. Joseph knew that Leon was on a secret mission because he's the one who made the gun. He could have also asked Barry. Why the disguise and the accent? Leon is on a secret mission that was not meant for the public to know about. So if the government found out Joseph took it upon himself to help Leon, he could have been punished for his actions. Now let's say the mission went wrong and Joseph caused the death of the president's daughter, he would have been screwed. You have to remember that they're being monitored by that hot girl with the glasses. Now it is entirely possible that Leon knows that the merchant is Joseph because Leon never questions this guy. He just appears out of nowhere. He just accepts this random guy selling him weapons and helping him with his target practice. It also makes me believe that the overused word stranger, the merchant constantly calls Leon, is actually a joke between the two. You know, sarcasm. Again, because they are being monitored. But it is kind of funny to think that every time the merchant says stranger, stranger. Leon is rolling his eyes thinking, okay, I get it. We don't know each other. That's, that's hilarious to me. It also makes sense because a lot of the times the merchant says stranger, Welcome. then he does that weird laugh thing. Is that old stranger? <laughs> Thank Is that old? <laughs> Thank you. How did Joseph as the merchant find the village? Possibly he followed the police car at the start. We do get a few cutscenes that indicate somebody was watching them from a distance when the cop was taking a piss. It is implied to be one of the villagers. 
but it might just be the merchant. And perhaps those blue medallions that Leon shoots at the start are some form of communication that will give the location of where Leon is so the merchant will always know his location. Why does the merchant look infected? And this is the only flaw in my theory. I generally can't think of anything that would fit the theory as far as why he is infected. The only thing that I came up with is just like Leon and Ashley, you know, the villagers got a hold of him and infected him. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay, if you guys made it this far, please give me a like. If you don't like this, give me a dislike. I don't care. Just let me know you're out there and subscribe for more crazy theories in the future. I do want to give a special thanks to Eddie G for making this video possible. Without him, this video would not be possible. Share this with the Resident Evil community so we can get a good discussion going. Until next time, guys, peace.